Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today by the title, we are literally talking about God. Before I started this video, I literally told God, God, this video is for you. So if you're seeing this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and yeah. To give you like a bit of context, I've always been a Christian. Like I was raised in a Christian home. I was going to church, all that, and like growing up, I had like a, a praying mother. My mom like literally a prayer warrior i knew the concepts of christianity and i knew everything about christianity and i knew god i knew who he was i knew about jesus christ the son of god i knew how he came on the earth to save us from our sins he came to die on the cross for you and i somewhere last year i was having so many convictions because as a christian god literally calls you to like pray without season you're supposed to pray and all that but i was I was so weak in the flesh, I couldn't really pray for long and even with the last prayer, I'll be saying the last prayer and my mind would literally wander to somewhere else and I'm like, yo, I can't even hold a prayer for like two minutes. I knew of him, but I didn't really have a relationship with him. You know, you can have a father, you can only call him and you'll be like, dad, can you give me money? And he'll give you money. That will be the only time you actually speak to your dad. That was the relationship I think I had with God because most of the times when i was just going to him i was just going to him to ask for things and all that and he's such a merciful father that even if you don't really have a relationship with him your prayers can still be answered like yeah so somewhere around last year i think april something i was having so many convictions i was like bro i, I grew up with a praying mother yeah and i've obviously seen like the impacts god had on her how she like literally moved to the UK without even knowing anybody here and how like her documents got approved and all that like you know and then three years later she just is able to file for us to come and then how like God has literally moved in so many aspects of her life and just thinking so many things I was like how am I going to be a praying mother who is going to intercede for my children when they they are going through stuff like how am I even going to pray for my household how am I going to pray for my husband how am I even going to pray for people if I can't even pray for myself? Like, if I can't even hold a conversation for like five minutes with God. And it was it was so bad. I had I was just going through a lot. I, I was tired of how things were going. I was just so frustrated with how certain things were going. I was like, the only person or the only spirit that can help me is the Lord Jesus Christ. Like, I know God can help me, but I can't bring myself to the point where I can like stay and then pray you know and even we're like fasting it's 6 a.m to 12 p.m within that 6 a.m to 12 p.m i'll just be on my phone watching tv no um spiritual activities no praying no worshiping no reading of the bible so it's like even if i was fasting it wasn't really doing anything because i wasn't really always in the presence of the lord regardless and then within that time too i was having so many convictions i was like so if christ came right now if god came right now and he was like i'm taking my children with me am i going to go with him because at, at the end of the day um I'm, i'll say i'm a very chill person like i would consider myself good but to the standard of god and the commandments and everything i don't i wouldn't think like i would go with him within that time and comparing myself to the world i would say oh i'm i'm good i'm good for like the things that goes on in the world but compared to christ would i even go with him it's like i'm in between the two you know god i love you but the, also this aspect of the world that i'm still like involved in i used to have so many dreams of seeing myself in primary school with my old friends and even see myself in jhs or shs that's high school and junior high school with friends that i, I didn't even talk to so most definitely I knew that that was like a spirit of stagnation and I, I used to have it so many times like every day I went to sleep I could dream of myself seeing myself in primary school and it was so bad I, I was just there like I just didn't like how life was literally going I felt like life was just slow for me everything was just so bad and I just I just needed help like I was just so frustrated with things and I wasn't going to church at that time because nothing was pushing me to church i was just so calm like so chill like i knew i had problems but i just didn't want to go to church because baby there was a false 
calling me from literally going to church or literally praying because my spiritual life was dead it was zero okay zero they came yeah i was there with my friend we literally like cooked had a meal and then i went to sleep i think i went to sleep around 12 p.m and then i didn't see anything the whole day i just slept throughout and when i woke up it was so dark outside so in my head i was like damn i slept for so long what time is it i was thinking it was probably maybe seven or seven or eight p.m it was 12 a.m like i had slept for 12 whole hours and i was like what the heck i don't i don't think i've ever slept that long before like um maybe i could sleep i could sleep for five hours or some hours but i had literally slept half of the day away so when i woke up i was like um i took my phone and i just went on tiktok scrolled i was scrolling apostle joshua selman's sermon came i was just watching and then i felt so convicted i don't know what video i was watching but i just felt so convicted i just i just started praying with him and then all the things that he was saying i remember just putting my phone off and then for the first time in a while i just started praying and i wasn't distracted i wasn't nothing was just holding me back from praying i could like flow it was just tears and all that and ever since then guys i've literally been a prayer girl I've been praying i've been fasting i've been i've been so in tune with the lord and it's, it's just such an amazing thing guys i was reading an article on um, google about how how long it takes for a person to like change their behavior to another and according to google it takes three weeks which is 21 days and thinking of how it just happened overnight where i wasn't praying and i was like so distracted it just praying for hours and then the next day i just i just started reading the bible i just started praying more it just couldn't have literally just been me trying to like change it just meant i just had a powerful hand that was literally helping me one of the factors that really contributed to me just having a prayer life back was my friend so my friend is also like a believer she believes in god she diane diane prays diane worships diane will put a gospel song on Diane will like, she will speak in tongues, like literally, the girl can pray and she also sings in church. So I feel like one of the aspects of me getting my fire back and being on track was literally here because days leading to the day that I finally could like break free and Diane like would go to sleep and then she like literally pray. And that is why you just need like believer friends, even if your fire is off. You just need that someone that could like literally still be on fire and bring you on the right track as i said I, I i used to have so many dreams of like seeing myself in high school and all that when i got my fire back and i started reading the bible i started like praying i started doing all those things i just started to pray against it because baby it just needed to go my life was so slow there was nothing going on that i really would say oh my god i'm so proud of myself for okay so i started praying against it the last dream i had before it all ceased was i was in a dream yeah and then we were in high school i could see myself in my jhs school but i i had all my high school mates there and then i was wearing yellow and then it was graduation so finally finally in my dream it was saying that finally i had graduated high school i woke up i just knew that i was free of that spirit recently i had that dream and when i woke up i was like i rebuke you in the mighty name of jesus you're not gonna bring yourself back into my life so that was the last dream i had and then it ceased i just started to love church and then finally understood how people would just go to church and then be dancing you could just be in a state and you're like oh my god some people are just overdoing it but you never actually know what god has done for somebody if somebody's praying praising in church dancing all around don't be that person i'll be like oh my god this person does too much no even in the bible god cursed king david's wife because david had rescued the ark of god back and then david was dancing his robe literally fell off so he became naked and his wife was like oh my god why is this one doing too much like he is literally 
embarrassing me and then god cursed her and then she couldn't conceive throughout the whole years of her life so don't be that person that will see somebody in stress and they'll be like oh my god this person is doing too much no they are not started to dedicate sundays to god i mean even before all this i always like dedicated sundays to god because i didn't really want to go to work on sunday because at the end of the day who wants to be at work on sunday nobody i was watching sermons from morning to evening i could like literally dedicate six a.m to 12 p.m literally just soaking in god's glory just reading the bible and all these stories they made sense and it was just so beautiful and then to see god in like a different light to just finally be like oh my god i love you god like i love you christ i love you jesus i would be here and then randomly i'll be like oh i love you so much god like i love you some of the pastors that i really love to watch in this season apostle michael Orobo, uh, i don't know how to pronounce his name so i'll put it there but i also love to watch apostle joshua selman because he was literally that first thing that just grabbed me like it just pulled me back to christ okay pulled me back and then i love um pastor elvis i love pastor stephanie is it ek or something it doesn't feel like a burden if i'm in church it doesn't feel like a burden if worshiping the lord i finally joined alpha R after i've seen it so many times on people's status one day i was just on tiktok and i was scrolling and then i came across alpha R and i was like okay clicked on it prayed with them and then ever since then i've just been sold into alpha R. like i am an alpharian baby i am sold yeah and then certain things just naturally it doesn't feel like pressure to me it just feel like ease i just love to do it i just love to worship god i just love to pray what i was just talking about god to everybody that i came across i was talking about it with my family with my boyfriend with, with everybody everywhere i went i just love to talk about god and even diana was like hey sophomore like sophomore means like a pastor a pastor a woman pastor or something like that yeah i was just talking about it and my family was like um excuse me like you know they they didn't really see me in that light i mean they knew i was a christian they knew like oh yeah we're all christians but they didn't see like me being like possessed not possessed me being filled with like the holy spirit where like i didn't feel i didn't feel the need to just hide what i was feeling or my passion to talk about christ like my auntie my auntie just had it all the time i'll read the bible verse and i'll be like oh this this and she'll be like later on she just told me that when she saw me do youtube for the first time she was like oh it would really be nice if she used her platform to just preach about the gospel talk about christ and stuff and i feel like god just god listen wherever god just wants to take this channel i'm just ready like yo let's go where am i currently now there's things that have been lifted off me there's things that i'm just still believing god to come through i know he wouldn't withhold anything good from me there's certain times i'll pray then i'll have the thing right away and then there are certain times that i'll pray and not really have a response but i know he knows the plans he has for me plans to prosper me and not to harm me okay he knows my future he knows what is right for me so if he's not answering something it probably is it probably means it's not the right time or maybe it's just not for me and i've just come to a point where i'm just i'm just relaxing okay certain times i just get bored because i'm like god come on now like you know you can do this you know you can do this because this is too small for you like why would you let me go through the stress like this but i know you wouldn't withhold anything good from me certain times i need to pray certain times i need to go on a fast because the bible literally says certain things can only go through prayer and fasting if you just pray and then it breaks certain things you just have to pray uh, pray and fast before it breaks you know so he's still taking me through seasons i can now like hear the holy spirit i could hear when he says don't do this and then i don't do it and then it works for me and then sometimes i'll be like he'll say do this and then 
I'll be like, is that my voice? Is that what? 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 And then I don't do it. And then it comes to buy me. Like, it comes to just... It just comes to buy me, okay? My uncle is like a pastor. He came over and then we were praying. We were literally praying about something, a different type of topic. I was just there and I was like, Uncle, so how would you know that what you are hearing is the Holy Spirit? What you are hearing is God? And he was like, his sheep hear us his voice. And he was like, if your mother called you right now, it wouldn't be like, mom, is that you? You'd already know that that is your mother. But my, my perspective was like, if I didn't have a relationship with my mom. Or never had my mom's voice. If my mom spoke to me, I wouldn't know that is my mom. So in all this, the only way you can hear God or the only way you can know that this is the right voice is when you spend time with him. When you read the Bible, because he speaks through his word, okay? He confirms everything that he says through his word. So if you start spending time with him, there's a way that he will speak. It's not every day that he will speak one way. You can be on TikTok scrolling and then somebody will say something and it would like resonate and you're like, mm, that is God. You could have like thoughts and you, mm, that's God. At first I'll be like, God, give me a sign if this is you. But when I read that verse, my sheep know it, my voice. He was speaking out like, mm, I'm not about to be here second guessing. I know that's him. I know that's God because they're saying then at times I'm like, oh, is that God? Is that is that me? Is that God? And then I just equated it to being my voice, and then the worst thing happened. Like, no, I'm not gonna keep being like God. Give me a sign. Like, if I hear Him speak, then it is Him. And when the devil speaks, you kind of know because most of the times it's, it's putting you down. It belittles you. It makes you feel angry. It makes you feel sad. It makes you feel small. Everything that makes you feel sad, small. All these things are just, it's not God. We're created in God's image. So obviously you are perfection. God is perfection. So if you are here thinking, oh my God, I feel so ugly. Oh my God, I don't like this. Oh my God, I don't like that. That is not God trying to tell you that, oh my God, you're ugly. God will never say you're ugly. Certain things that when it happens, I just, I just know it's like, I don't want to keep asking, give me a sign, do this, do that. There's certain things that most definitely I need a sign because, um, yeah, I need a sign, but there's little things and small things that I just know that, God, this is you. Lord loves you, okay? He, he wouldn't withhold anything good. If you've been asking for something and it's not coming, maybe it's not the season or maybe it's just not for you. One of the prayers that I just like to pray is like, let your will be done. Like, I've been praying for this thing over and over and it's not coming. Show me what I'm missing, like, because I'm, I'm tired of praying this prayer, okay? Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video on sunday at 7 p.m uk time thank you for watching bye